after making the video last night, my charming sexual education videos, <clears throat> maybe they were charming, I have no idea, it seemed like a good idea at the time, uh, I didn't consciously show up for anything last night. My wives didn't, well, one did, but I was just so grouchy, man. Like, really grouchy. I was very antisocial yesterday, so here, you know, I live, live with my daughter and her mom, and uh, some days I just wisely know that I'm not social. So, I don't expect anything of myself. And that's healthy, because there are days that you have nothing to give. And it's okay. I know it's tough when you're a mom to... But, you know... There are days you can square things away pretty, without much effort, and just imagine yourself sitting on a beach with a, in a chair with an umbrella, looking at the ocean, and beautiful blue water. It seems a lot of people like that idea, you know. I don't know why, but it's a very popular destination. And yeah, to be alone on the beach seems to be people's idea of a good time right about now. That's what I'm saying anyway. I think because of my work about a year ago that uh, some people might have had some expectations about my what I was educating on yesterday and I guess I did now I this is how good my memory is now I remember vaguely getting into the the topics The more taboo stuff is what I think some people were interested in. I just, uh, I felt that comfortable to get that deep into it. And until things more, until more happens, that's, that's, you know, I went as far as my comfort zone allowed. <clears throat> Which means the world's improved that much. <clears throat> or about to. There's no way I would have made that video. So, we can be, I can be, we can be glad that the world's improving. After making those videos yesterday, I, like I said, one of my wives was here, and she was nice, and I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with myself. I got my own little baby kid fish game that I can do all my videos. All right, I'm making a video, okay? After. But <clears throat> as far as the um, ritual, you know, I gave it a, I gave the situation a club name because my wife that did show up okay to to it but the one that um, she's said many times it's my right you know and uh, I always say yes it is <laughs> you know so since I am quite certain she's divine 
divine rights and she's the one who taught me two or th two years ago to do the astral or energy or bilocation being in more than one place at the same time um, vampirism and uh, sex divine rights sex club sounded was named for her and she was hugely important and Ella and I getting together when we're married the night before for the second time. So that's the why the name and uh I threw up in the night projectile. Oh, yeah, you know, I mean, it was sputtering and terrible. You know how it goes. And the combination of having tried to make a video last night but not wanting to see myself. Well, I'm pretty angry at myself. It doesn't matter how selfless my intentions are, I will find a way to make myself feel badly about anything, pretty much. So talent I have, not very, not very useful beating yourself into low self-esteem doesn't do any good. We all do sort of live in a virtual reality now. Mer worlds merging and the world changing is a good time to decide how we want the world to be uh, going into the future. The world, our world, our worlds, but just last week, I was with that first wife who taught me yet be the, and we bumped elbows right here, and I saw us bump elbows and she sent me a message saying you bumped my elbow and spilled my tea and I was like I saw you I saw us bump elbows so while I'm not all that entirely sure where anyone is I feel like I could live in the sub basement of a quantum computer Or when Jesus said, my father's house has many rooms, I feel like this quarantine and the isolation is <clears throat> those many rooms taking place so that we can decide what we want our houses to look like and who we want in our communities. There's several people on YouTube, dudes, who are like the, you know, in the 3D world, they feel like the, the better versions of me. If I had stuck with music, there's one channel that really looks like that would be 
man. Yeah, so the world's magical and pliable now, and I gave uh, one, two of my wives Ankara crystals today, and I gave one more for her daughters, and the one I call Talamaskin. I gave more, well, a bunch of smaller ones. The, my main two wives who have been with me the longest. Mm -hmm. We got pretty much the same stone. It was the one I could make. So. I hope that's helpful. Before the astral realm, the energy realm, wherever, some call it the vampire realm, before getting into all that, I had never been loved in my life. I never felt loved in my life. And there had been some beautiful, really good, great energy women that I'd met when I was younger. And uh, because of my path being kind of lonely and dark, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to subject them to myself even though I thought they were awesome. So there's at least something selfless about me, even if, I don't know, maybe I hope it was, I hope I did the right thing by not trying to bring them into my life then, even though they wanted to. So at any rate, even though I felt awkward this morning. I never felt loved until April 27th, 2016. So to varying degrees and dimensions with many types of beings and many different types of ways. A lot of it early on was just social. A lot of the meetings, painful but social. So when I think of all the men who choose alcohol over relationships, not that there aren't women who do the same, but <clears throat> all my male friends were always single, most of them, if not all. So I have to assume there's an equal amount of single women and I'm going to assume that I'm not the only one who felt unloved for a long time so my intentions are pure as can be as anything It doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself too, right? But I learned in the last few years that I have a lot of love, a lot of energy. 
whether it's divine or paranormal and source. Available. My love is available. And it makes sense. To share it with so many, even though it's a strange wedding gift. That now she has a crystal too. Funny. Um, yeah. So, I think that's all. So, yeah, Vega and I being, and it's not just her. I just don't have a good name for her. my other wife that I'm speaking of. Good call her Sophia, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Anyway, I mean, to me, we're a family. I felt kind of settled in, despite the bizarreness of our worlds. We, we do seem to come from different worlds, no matter what the names are for any of these worlds or how how they work I like to think that <clears throat> Yad Biga in particular is where we decided to open the the portal and see who wants to come through. So I'm sure one way or another we'll settle into our groove and then there's always growing pains you know we change something and then everything feels unknown and nervous and then usually always has come back together stronger and it's usually pretty soon but a day of awkwardness or feeling alone like before four years ago is a long time for me now so Hours, <clears throat> hours can be a long time. And the rituals 
I'd rather not, I'd rather call it a lifestyle than a ritual because rituals have been pretty profound these last couple of years, so. And I understand there's beings that are male and female and can't separate that. So I would encourage them to, if they can, they're, they're welcome. But if I have two faces, I can choose which one I wear and I'm wearing my male face, whatever I look like to anyone. <laughs>